I think we would all agree that CZ makes some of the finest metal frame, double action, single action, and single action only guns probably ever. Uh, some legendary guns. But how does that translate to their polymer striker fired guns? Like this one, the CZ P10C. Yes, so we're going to get into it. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the Walter Lover channel, everyone, a place where we discuss general gun and shooting topics. We do all make and model gun reviews, uh, talk about competitive shooting, and a love of Walter Firearms. Thank you so much for checking out this video. So today we're going to get into the CZP-10C right here. Yeah, look at that thing. So we're going to make sure she's safe. As always, we're clear. No ammo in the gun. We are super safe. So here we go. CZP-10C. So... How did this thing come to be? Well, I think we all know that that CZ historically has made some of uh, the, the finest firearms in the world. I don't think anybody can make that argument. When it comes to the competitive shooting world, their metal double action, single action guns, as well as their single action only guns, uh, I think it's fair to say have dominated in a lot of divisions uh, all across competitive shooting and all across the world. Spectacular guns. And of course, a lot of their service pistols, the CZ-75 is a classic in one of those guns that's still in service today. So CZ has got a reputation for building a quality firearm. Uh, people who love CZs are uber committed to those firearms for sure. Like it's a huge community that loves those guns and can do nothing wrong. And, and I get that and I respect the loyalty and I love some of those metal CZ guns. We've talked about one on the channel before. I ended up with this gun because somebody said, hey man, I know what you like. And if you like a compact, polymer striker fire gun, you have to check this out because it's going to be the best compact uh, Glock 19-ish size handgun you're ever going to shoot. And I was like, whoa, that's, I mean, that's a big statement because we all know where my loyalties lie. But I said, okay, well, challenge accepted. Let's check this thing out and see what we got. So that's how this video came to be. Obviously, this gun is not new. This gun's been around for a while. Uh, new in my world, but it, it's been out for, I think, 2017 is when the P10C was released. So uh, we're going to talk about this thing a little bit tonight. So real quick, let's take an up-close personal look at the CCP-10C. We'll come back, talk about how it shoots, who it's for, things I like, things I don't like, etc., etc. So uh, with that, let's take a look. Stand by. Okay, folks, here we go. CCP-10C. Polymer striker fire gun. Compact gun from CZ. How about that? As always, the gun is clear. We are safe. No ammo in the mag. There we have it, folks. Yeah. All right. Starting at the bottom. We've got uh, CZ understands magwells a bit, right? So this isn't exactly a magwell, but it's very generous. Uh, so if you need to reload quickly, it's fairly easy to do to get in there. Uh, we have replaceable back straps. I'll show you those in a minute. Ah, texture on the grips. Well, I'm going to talk about that a little more as we move on in this video, but um, front and back, I like. Uh, the sides, I, I don't know, man. It's it's not quite what I need, but I like a really aggressive grip. Uh, it's not terrible by any stretch, but I'd like to see something a little different. Uh, we've got an undercut on the trigger guard, so you can get a nice high grip on this gun. Uh, very generous trigger guard, so you can get in here with a gloved hand if you need to. You've got a rail up front if you wanted to mount a light or laser or whatever you're into. Uh, we'll get to the trigger in a moment. Standard takedown. I think everyone will recognize what that is. Very easy to take this gun down. There's our slide lock. Um, very small. Great for a compact gun. Great for a carry piece. Um, position well. There's a little bit of grip indentation here that uh, makes it almost flush, which is kind of cool, especially for carry. Neat. We've got a fair amount of texture, front and rear, on this slide, so you can press check if you need to, manipulate the gun in the front, very cool. Sights. We have got steel three-dot sights on this firearm. This firearm is available optics ready. This is not an optics cut version, uh, and it is also available with a tritium front and blacked out serrated rear, which uh, I kind of wish this one was, because that would be my preference. I didn't talk about the mag release. That thing is reversible for our left-handed 
brothers and sisters, right? So everyone wants to know, let's check out the trigger. All right, normal trigger safety there. There's a the take up. I've heard some complaints from folks that they feel like that's a little long. I don't think it's that bad. There, break. Reset, break. Reset, break. There you go. Excellent trigger. I am definitely a fan of the trigger. This gun is not new, been around for a while. And uh, at the time that may have been one of the best triggers out there for sure. I still think it ranks up there pretty high. Uh, normal CZ, I know CZ people like to talk about the low bore axis on these guns, right? And I know it drives some people nuts to hear, but it's true, right? That barrel rides pretty low in the frame and uh, makes the recoil exceptionally manageable. So uh, there you have it. Another good CZ design. Uh, what's in the box, dude? So you get two 15-round mags with the CZ P10C. One, as you saw, was in the gun. And then you get an additional mag. You've got your replaceable back straps. Very cool. Got your CZ obligatory drumstick slash cleaning materials. Got to dig it. And instruction manual, stuff like that, right? No frills, but everything that you need. So there you have it. Up close, CZ P10C. I uh, like it. Moving on. So now that we have seen it up close, uh, everyone wants to know how does this thing shoot? Well, this is a fantastic firearm to get behind and, uh, and fire some rounds. I I'll have to admit, it certainly is one of my favorite guns in this category. And look, this is a crowded space, right? These compact guns and the Glock 19 size guns, I mean, every major manufacturer and most of the small ones have a handgun in this category. So there's tons and tons and tons of stuff out there to choose from for sure. So there's something for everybody. And if you're a hardcore CZ person, this is probably your gun. Uh, but somebody like me who doesn't have that loyalty to CZ necessarily, although I, like, I love a lot of their firearms, don't get me wrong. Uh, how, how did I feel when I got behind this gun? We'll take a look a little bit at how this thing shoots and it is absolutely fantastic. It really is. Uh, to me, one of one of the best striker fired triggers on the market. And again, this gun's been around for a while, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure everyone will agree with that. And I, again, this is just my opinion. Having shot a ton of firearms in this category, I just believe it's got one of the finest triggers that I've ever uh, had the pleasure to shoot. Gun is absolutely accurate. Feels good in the hand as far as the ergonomics go. Uh, absolutely terrific. Now, what are some of the things that I don't necessarily like about this gun? Uh, and I, I may have mentioned it in the up close, the texture on the grip. So, man, it when you look at it, it kind of looks like it's really aggressive with these little, I don't know, it's like a cactus. <laughs> it's, like you're, it's like you're grabbing a cactus, man, with these little prickly things coming out of it. Uh, so you would think that, that that would bite really well in the hand, but I didn't find that, man. So for me, um, I would need a little more texture to be comfortable shooting this gun. But if you've watched any of my review videos, it's probably my number one rub uh, with most guns is the texture. I just like a really aggressive texture. And I realize that's not for everybody. The good news here is that if you're going to carry this and there's any skin to skin contact here, I don't know that this would be too terrible. Uh, if you've got, if you're carrying this firearm and, and this is going to rub up against the skin, it's probably not so bad. Um, so maybe that's the reason for that. I'm not sure for me. I'd have to do something about this. there's some aftermarket solutions, some pretty good ones, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else don't I like about this gun, man? There's not a lot. I like it. Uh, it's got interchangeable back straps. I showed you that in the up close. Uh, this is the standard that comes, uh, out of the box. Uh, not the optics ready version. And this does come in an optics ready version too, for those that like their dots on their guns. So that's pretty neat as well. Again, I mentioned the trigger and I showed you guys the trigger um, when we're looking at this thing up close, but you know, there's the take up pretty long. I think that's where maybe some people get jammed up, but I like where it breaks. If you see right there, a little bit of tiny bit of creep, it's pretty clean. Uh, maybe a little heavy for some people's uh, preferences, I guess with that trigger, but I thought it was pretty good. 
There you go. Trigger. Uh, I like to trigger a lot. Um, not everybody did, though, that got behind this gun, so that's why I mentioned it. I uh, feel like the serrations are really good on this gun. There's just not a ton that I don't like about it. Uh, with this gun, you get the two 15-round mags. I guess if there was another rub or, or issue I had or concern maybe with this firearm is CZ mags. Um, no stranger to some of us that like other brands as well, but they can be somewhat scarce and a little expensive to get. But uh, the good news is it's quality mag. And uh, yeah, I mean, just haven't had any issues. This, this firearm in particular has had a ton of rounds through it, somewhere around 1,500. And uh, it's been absolutely flawless flawless ergonomics i mentioned i like a lot i just it's it's pretty terrific uh people are curious about the weight on this gun it's about five ounces heavier than a glock 19 to compare it as far as the actual measurements on this gun almost identical measurements to the glock 19 with this one being slightly taller but not by much it's very similar in size to the glock 19 as a matter of fact i'm told this fits in some some glock 19 holsters though i haven't tried that uh, got a little bit of texture up here for the thumbs. I, it takes down like a Glock. Look, it's, it's man, it's pretty awesome. Um, only other concern, maybe, the sights. So this has the three-dot metal sights that come on it. They're easy enough to replace. Uh, there is, I mentioned, there's an Optics Ready mer uh, version of this firearm, and there is also a version that comes with a tritium front and blacked-out serrated rear. I probably would prefer that setup. and may even change it, truthfully. But, uh, man, I got to tell you, overall... I'm kind of a fan of this firearm. It's been super, super reliable. It's super accurate. Uh, fun to shoot. Fun to shoot. And I could see this being uh, uh, a, a lot of people being a big fan of this firearm. What would it be for? Well, it, a lot like the Glock 19 or uh, PDP Compact, M&P, all those guns in that category. Uh, everyday carry, concealed carry, uh, duty gun. Uh, there's just a lot of options with this firearm home defense. Uh, there's not a lot that the CZ P10C wouldn't be good for, in my opinion. I even know a guy that actually competes with one of these, which is kind of neat. He's got the red dot version of it. For me, it's a little small for that, but um, pretty darn cool. Price. MSRP on this is $579, though uh, they can be had cheaper than that. I've seen them right around five and a quarter or so for the non-optics version of the gun. They are readily available, been around for a while. Um, super cool. So how do I feel overall about the CZ P10C? I like it. It's pretty solid and I'm happy to have it. So there you go. That's all I have for you folks. A uh, quick review of the CZ P10C. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We're growing and that's awesome. Uh, if you didn't like this video, let me know why. Maybe we can fix it, but still, maybe you could subscribe anyway and see if I get any better, right? That's always an option. So with that, I'm going to let everybody go. Thank you again for the support, the ongoing support. You guys and gals are awesome. This has been fun. I'm going to continue to have fun with this thing and talk about some of these cool guns. Yep. Yeah. Hit me up. Talk to you guys soon. See you.